Hello friends, today we discuss about how to find moment of inertia of T section. So first question is what is moment of inertia? So meaning of moment of inertia that is second moment of area. So to understand the concept of moment of inertia, first we consider one lamina of area A and perpendicular distance is Y from the X axis. So moment of inertia means second moment of area so first we take moment about x axis so moment is equal to area that is a and perpendicular distance that is y so moment is equal to area multiply perpendicular distance so moment is equal to a into y if the moment of moment means second moment of area is taken about the same reference axis here we taking moment about x axis so if the moment of moment is taken about the same reference axis it is known as moment of inertia so moment of inertia about xx axis that is moment multiply perpendicular distance we already find moment that is a into y so a into y multiply perpendicular distance that is y so moment of inertia about xx axis that is a y square Similarly, we can find moment of inertia about yy axis. For example, from yy axis, perpendicular distance is x. So first moment that is a into x and moment of inertia means second moment of area. So moment multiply perpendicular distance. So a into x multiply perpendicular distance from yy axis that is x so moment of inertia about yy axis that is ax square again i repeat for moment of inertia first we consider lamina of area a and if we taking moment of inertia from x axis then perpendicular distance is y because this is vertical distance that's why we consider y so first we taking moment moment means area multiply perpendicular distance so a into y and if the moment of moment is taken about same reference axis then it is known as a moment of inertia so moment of inertia is equal to moment multiply perpendicular distance so a into y that we already find moment multiply perpendicular distance that is y so moment of inertia about xx axis that is ay square similarly we can find moment of inertia about yy axis that is ax square here we taking one example of rectangle so that is base so b and that is depth so d so moment of inertia about xx axis for rectangle that is bd cube by 12 and moment of inertia about yy axis that is db cube by 12 so ixx is equal to bd cube by 12 and iyy is equal to db cube by 12 but when you calculating moment of inertia for whole section so means combination of the parts here uh, in L section there are two parts so moment of inertia about xx axis that given by equation ixx is equal to ig plus a h square if we find moment of inertia for first part then equation is ixx1 is equal to ig plus a1 h square in place of h we can write y bar minus y1 because while you calculating moment of inertia about xx axis that equation is a y square so here meaning of h that is y bar minus y1 and if you calculating moment of inertia for second part then use equation h is equal to y bar minus y2 and in place of ig we can write bd cube by 12 and similarly for second part iyy1 is equal to ig plus a1 h square but for finding moment of inertia about xx axis we use h is equal to x bar minus x1 and in place of and for finding moment of inertia for second part about yy axis then iyy2 is equal to ig plus a2 h square in place of h we can write x bar minus x2 so in place of ig we can write db cube by 12 so in this way you easily calculate moment of inertia so now we solve numerical step by step so here calculate moment of inertia of t section so for finding moment of inertia first we find center of gravity so finding center of gravity you follow some simple steps in step number one indicate reference axis 
So what is the meaning of reference axis? Reference axis means the axis from which we indicate x bar and y bar. So generally reference axis we indicate from the left side of the section. This is the left side of the section and bottom side of the section. So this is the reference axis. Reference axis means from this axis we indicate x bar and y bar. So generally reference axis indicate that is the left side of the section and bottom of the section. In step number 2 check the given section is symmetrical about any axis or not. What is the meaning of symmetrical axis? Symmetrical axis means the axis which divides the figure in two equal parts. For T section, YY axis is symmetrical. So here, YY axis is symmetrical. Because YY axis divides the figure into two equal parts. Here, if we indicate x bar anywhere that does not divide figure into two equal parts, that's why x x axis is not symmetrical. So, here we can write the given section is symmetrical about y y axis. So, what is the advantage of symmetrical axis? If y y axis is symmetrical, then we directly calculate x bar. And if x x axis is symmetrical then we directly calculate y bar. So for finding x bar we always see horizontal distance from the reference axis and for finding y bar always see vertical distance from the reference axis. For finding x bar here that is reference axis and total horizontal distance that is 200. So center of gravity that is 200 divided by 2 for x bar. So x bar is equal to 200 divided by 2 that is 100 mm. Again I repeat in step number 2 check the given section is symmetrical about any axis or not. So here in T section y y axis is symmetrical. So here we write the given section is symmetrical about y y axis. So what is the advantage of symmetrical axis? Y y axis is symmetrical then we directly calculate x bar and if x x axis is symmetrical then we directly calculate y bar. So here we directly calculate x bar from reference axis. So from reference axis horizontal distance is 200. So x bar is equal to 200 divided by 2 is equal to 100 mm. In step number 3 divide section into parts. So here in T section we see that there are two rectangle. So that is first rectangle and here that is second rectangle. So in step number 3 divide section into two parts and these two parts are rectangle. In step number 4 find area of this part x1 y1 and x2 y2. So first part dimension that is 200 multiply 50 and second part dimension that is 200 multiply 50. So we draw separate parts first part that is dimension B is equal to 200 and D is equal to 50 and second part dimension that is B is equal to 50 and D is equal to 200. So first part area that is given by A1 is equal to 200 multiply 50 because rectangle area that is given by B into D. Similarly, in part number 2, area is given by B into D. So, B is equal to 50 and D is equal to 200. So, 50 into 200. So, area of this part that is 5 into 2, 10 mm square. So, area of first part that is 10,000 mm square and area of second part that is also 10,000 mm square. Now we find y1 and y2. So we know that center of gravity for a rectangular section that at its middle. So y1 is equal to 
if vertical distance is 50 then y1 is equal to 25 mm but we find this center of gravity from the reference axis so for finding y bar you always see vertical distance from the reference axis we already know that we know that center of gravity at its middle but from reference axis this vertical distance is 200 plus 50 by 2 because center of gravity at its middle so 50 by 2 that is 25 mm so y1 is equal to 200 plus 50 divided by 2 so 200 plus 25 is equal to 225 mm square similarly we can find y2 so again this is a rectangular section so center of gravity at its middle and here we find y that's why see vertical distance so but total vertical distance that is 200 so center of gravity is 200 divided by 2 so 100 mm so here we already find x bar that is 100 mm so no need to find x1 and x2 but if, if you want to find x1 and x2 then you easily find x1 and x2 from the reference axis for x1 and x2 uh, always see horizontal distance from the reference axis so first part center of gravity is here so this distance is from the reference axis that is 200 divided by 2 so x1 we get 200 divided by 2 that is 100 mm and similarly second part center of gravity is here so again this distance is 200 divided by 2 so again x2 is equal to 100 mm so we easily get x1 and x2 so x1 is equal to 100 mm and x2 is also 100 mm so in first step you find center of gravity so for finding center of gravity you follow some simple steps in first step indicate reference axis in step number two check the given section is symmetrical about any axis or not in step number three divide section in parts and in step number four find area x1 y1 and x2 y2 now we find x bar and y bar so for finding x bar and y bar use equation x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2 and put the value so you get value 100 mm that we already find in step number 2 x bar is equal to 100 mm so here no need to find x bar again y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 put the value of a1 a2 y1 and y2 we get y bar is equal to 162.5 mm so here we get x bar that is 100 mm and y bar that is 162.5 mm now we find moment of inertia so first we find moment of inertia for first part so first part dimension that we already have that is 250 so here b is equal to 200 mm and d is equal to 50 mm so ixx1 is equal to ig plus a1 x square so we already discussed that when we calculating moment of inertia about xx axis then h is equal to y bar minus y1 if you calculating moment of inertia for first part then y bar minus y1 and if you calculating moment of inertia for second part then h is equal to y bar minus y2 while we calculating moment of inertia about xx axis then for rectangular section ixx is equal to bd cube by 12 so put the value of bd cube by 12 in place of ig so here our equation is ixx1 is equal to ig plus a1 h square so h is equal to y bar minus y1 so we already get y bar is equal to 162.5 mm and y1 we get 225 mm in step number 4 in step number 4 we already find y1 is equal to 225 mm square so put the value in above equation ixx1 in place of ig we can write bd cube by 12 plus a1 in place of h we can write y bar minus y1 so here h square so here y bar minus y1 whole square so put the value of b that is 200 put the value of d that is 50 so 200 multiply 50 cube divided by 12 plus area of first part that is 10,000 
and y bar that is 162.5 and y1 that is 225 we get ixx1 is equal to 41145833.33 mm raised to 4 similarly we find moment of inertia for second part second part dimension that is b is equal to 50 mm and d is equal to 200 mm so use equation ixx2 is equal to ig plus a2 h square in place of h we can write here y bar minus y2 so we already find y bar that is 162.5 mm and y2 that we already get that is 100 mm so put the value in above equation bd cube by 12 so b is equal to 50 d is equal to 200 so 50 multiplied 200 cube divided by 12 area of second part that is 10,000 in place of y bar we can write 162.5 mm and in place of y2 we can write 100 so 162.5 minus 100 whole square so we get ixx2 is equal to 7239583.33 mm raised to 4 so moment of inertia about xx axis that we find ixx is equal to ixx1 plus ixx2 so we get 1.135 multiplied 10 raised to mm raised to 4. Similarly, we find moment of inertia about yy axis. So, iyy1 is equal to ig plus a1 h square, but here value of h is equal to x bar minus x1 that we already discussed while we calculating moment of inertia about yy axis, then here x bar minus x1. So, first part dimension that is b is equal to 200 mm and d is equal to 50 mm. So we already find x bar that is 100 mm and x1 is also 100 mm. So iyy1 while we calculating moment of inertia about yy axis then moment of inertia about yy axis for rectangular section that is db cube by 12. So in place of ig write the value of db cube by 12. So d is equal to 50 and b is equal to 200. So 50 multiplied 200 cube divided by 12 plus area of first part that is 10,000 x bar that is 100 x1 that is 100 so this whole step is 0 so we get iyy1 is equal to 3.33 multiplied 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4 now we find moment of inertia or second part so iyy2 is equal to ig plus a2 h square so in place of h we can write x bar minus x2 so x bar is equal to 100 mm and x2 is equal to 100 mm so here put the value of put the value in equation so here b is equal to 50 mm and d is equal to 200 mm and equation for this i by y2 is equal to db cube by 12 so 200 that is d multiply b that is 50 so 200 multiply 50 cube divided by 12 plus area of second part x bar that is 100 x2 that is 100 so this whole part is 0 so we get iyy2 is equal to 2083333.33 mm raised to 4 so iyy is equal to iyy1 plus iyy2 put the value of iyy1 plus iyy2 we get 3.541 multiply 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4 so in this way we easily calculate moment of inertia of t section thank you